So now we're in here. As I said, it came in upside down from a camera. So the first thing I'm gonna do is flip it. And also I wanna be facing the other way. So the next thing I'm gonna do is flip it again. Um, notice I'm in bit mode, not vector. We'll talk about vector later, but this is bit mode. And brush tool, a lot of tools are palette. I'm gonna use the uh, remove background tool. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get around it pretty close. Missed a part down there, but don't worry about it. Join it up and we're gonna then just drop that out. So to, to drop it out, I could do more normal manipulation, but to drop it out, I'm just gonna go back to brush for a second and then come back in. At this point, <clears throat> I'm gonna use the brush tool and you can see our colors here. I'm gonna use this one, which is the erase with that red line, like the no sign. And I can change my uh, brush size to whatever I want. So at first I might set it pretty big and again, knock more of this out. And if you should make a mistake and go in, you can just undo it. So that's one reason you want to every now and then let up from the mouse key, because it will save back to whatever you last saved. So if you keep your hand down too long, then it's you'll get everything back you erased. So now I'm gonna go back in closer and turn my uh, sensitive or uh, reduce my um, brush size and then just keep working your way around. Now if you want to do a full figure you're probably better off using GIMP or Photoshop something that will let you uh, really do a lot of manipulation. This is good it's built in but you know won't lie to you it's got limits. And you want to avoid uh, doing a lot of back and forth stuff like that scribbling because you're going to end up missing little pieces. It's something like this could be uh, missed very easily. One nice thing is in uh, GIMP or Photoshop, you can check for that by putting a uh, contrasting layer temporarily underneath and then uh, removing it. So again, something like that can be very easily forgotten, especially if it kind of blends in with the... Um, checkerboards and in GIMP and Photoshop you have a lot more tools to kind of deal with fine things like hair and seeing through areas again watch this scribbling area where you kind of scribble back and forth easy to miss something in there and like I say if you go in just undo it. Unfortunately, you're going to get back everything until your last uh, took thing off your took your finger off your mouse. So let's take it back down. Looks pretty good. Actually, maybe I'll go in back a little bit more. Open up my brush and just now seeing it a little closer here. One last thing is where the center of everything is. This thing is still centered on the bigger picture. So when I check the centering tool, it's down there. Um, I want to move it closer because this is where the X and Y origin point will be. So I can move this to where I want and then hit the escape key. Then I'll just check it and you'll see it's up higher. Maybe I'm just gonna put it right over my eye here. And then hit the escape key. Let's check it. Yeah, it's right over my eye. So that's the origin point. And that's where your X and Y values, if you, if you set this to move somewhere, that will be the X and Y value you set it to move. So that's that, and we'll get back into the game.